Hello Interwebs, welcome to Let's Fix Computers. Uh, I've got an Asus laptop here. This is a, it's a K54C. Apparently it's got a, a Duff charger jack on it, so we're gonna have a look at this dude. Um, now this charger jack, if my memory serves me, is soldered onto the board, so it's probably broken off. So I'm gonna go straight in with the teardown on this and do a visual inspection on it. Um, uh, it's most likely an intermittent issue, so I'm not even gonna bother testing it at the moment because I know that it's almost certainly a bad connection in there. So there's no point in putting that to the test. We're just going to uh, tear this thing apart and have a proper look at it. It also said the trackpad wasn't working. It's not even connected. How that has come out of its own accord, I'm not sure. There's something strange. Someone's not reassembled this properly. My guess is that someone's already had a bash at this and done goofed or something. A lot of broken bits in this. We've got a screw under there. Yeah, of course we do. Uh, I hate it when there's screws. I hate it when there's screws in there. It's a really annoying place for them to be. Don't know why they bother. There's so many broken clips in this laptop. Like, I know it looks like I rough handle laptops, but the way I, I know exactly how much pressure and, and exactly how rough you can be with laptops just through experience. So it's not me making, look at all this, they're all broken. Where, where are all these coming from? This isn't me. It's full of broken off posts. Good grief. This thing has been dropped. This thing has been dropped. Oh man, what a what a ball ache. That means it's probably not gonna reassemble. Ugh, okay, fine. Let's keep going. But luckily because it's a sort of a big old plastic thing, we can probably bodge this back together somehow. This is gonna turn into a ball ache though, this job. There we go. Nice clean break across the main connection there. We'll solder that dude back up, it'll be fine. Okay, I put a bit of flux on there already. And yeah, I can get in there without blocking the camera. I've got to get heat onto that post, which is the tricky bit. Otherwise the solder is just going to stick on the iron, which is what it's doing at the moment. Let's put a solder blob down the bottom. And then that will transfer into the, uh, the pin. There we go. Come on, get in there. I believe in you. Should do the job. Let's check how that feels. Good, the pin is still centered. All right, now comes the bigger problem of how the hell we're gonna put this thing back together with so many broken sodding pins. Because that is gonna be a pain in the backside.
Well, this top case is toast. I'm hoping that there are at least like just three screws that are intact that will go in that will just stop this thing from falling to bits. Thankfully, the hinges are all structural to the bottom case. So uh, we don't need to worry about that. Normally the top case adds significant rigidity to the laptop, but this, this case actually gets most of its structure from the bottom case. So we're okay there, I think. But yeah, that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven broken screw posts that came out of that. So this thing is a wreck. Now, that one's gone, never mind. That one's gone. I'll put some of these screws back in for the sake of uh, screwing the motherboard back in just so that doesn't rattle about, but they ain't doing anything structural. What a ball ache. Literally all of these screw holes are broken. I'll put in everything that I can, but there ain't gonna be a lot holding this thing together. Always put the DVD drive in before the laptop keyboard, just in case it screws in from the top, as this one does. One of the only screws that actually works. Ugh, what a mess. Does it work? It does. It gives me a white screen. Oh my god, that is possibly either a bad screen or I haven't plugged the display in correctly. And that's a total ball ache. Okay, it's got to come apart again. Well, at least I don't have to take apart out. Yeah. Well, at least I don't have to take many screws out of it again. That is one good bit of news. I don't know if you guys can see that from here, but that doesn't look straight to me, that display connector. I think that was my bad. I think I was rushing a bit and didn't plug it in properly. And for my punishment, I've got to take this thing apart again. Yeah, that's not even close to in properly. Yeah, let me just show you why I'm being a bad. There you go. You can clearly see that that's not in properly. So. Let's just back that out and do it again. There we go. Now that's in properly. Okay, let's turn it on before, well, I was about to say let's turn it on before we put all the screws back in, but, but before I put in all five of the screws holding this laptop together. All right, power on. That's more like it, that's what I want to see. There we go. Right, now we're done. Gross, Windows 7. Come at me, YouTube comments. All right, I'm gonna let it do that disk test, but yeah, that disk test, because uh, I did actually pull the plug out on the previous star up. How much do you wanna bet that the hard drive in this is toast as well, because it's been dropped? All right, and that's about a lot as far as screws go.
All right, well, there we go, everyone. That was a bit of a rough repair. However, that should do fine. And uh, again, we'll tell the customer that um, if it starts, if it goes wrong again, he can bring it back in and we'll have another look at that. Uh, if it fails again, we'll replace the DC jack with a new one. However, I'm 99% certain I've fixed one of these before with exactly the same fault. And I did not see that one come back in again. So with a bit of luck, that one did actually hold up. Either that or the customer was an idiot and refused to claim on their warranty. Because uh, I do say to everyone when they go out the door, the last thing I always say to them is if there's any problems, bring it back in and I will look at it again free of charge. And uh, touch wood, very, very rarely does anything come back in. All right, thank you very much, everyone. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye for now.